So metrics and goals obviously don't mean anything if you don't leverage them. Use these as a motivational tool. So I've been watching videos about KPIs and goals because I want to better organize my startup workflow. And I thought in this video I would share what I currently do with my Trello boards to make sure my workflow is organized. So let's jump right into the video. And in today's video, I'll be talking about how I organize my Trello boards and how that has helped me organize my startup workflow. So I started by creating five lists. The first list is to do, which will list out tasks that need to be done. The second list is going to be doing tasks that are currently being done. And the third list is done tasks that have been done. And I do this because I want there to be a clear structure for how tasks are organized. And that is so every single task can have one of these three statuses. A task can either be a to do, a doing item, or a done item. Simple as that. And the last two columns, I tend to like to reserve for notes and weekly goals. You can call them milestones as well. The reason why I have a notes section is so that my co-founder and I can share our thoughts about specific features and product benefits that are currently being created. Typically under notes, I include things like product notes, like brainstorming cards where my co-founder and I can throw around ideas. And for the weekly milestones, weekly goals list, I like to list out what exactly we are trying to accomplish for the week. Usually that's a very specific figure to do with our North Star metric, which is for us daily active users. And based on what YC has taught, you want to aim for a weekly growth rate of around 5 to 10%, 10% for the best startups. And yeah, these are just the five columns that I like to set up for new Trello boards. And right now we are using the structure and here are just like three tips for managing the structure. The first tip is to try to not overflow your to-do list. Don't note down every single little thing that you think needs to be done. What I do to make sure that the to-do list isn't overflowing is I try to talk through each to-do item with my co-founder first before adding it. The second tip I want to share is that when you have a weekly goal, you wanna make sure you're actually meeting or not meeting that goal and you're keeping yourself accountable. If you don't meet a goal, you have to talk about why that goal wasn't met. And this is to ensure that the strategy that you're following for your startup remains consistent and that you're not just deviating because there was a slight slip up here and then, oh, we're not gonna follow this goal anymore and then we're just gonna wing it. I see this happen a lot with startups. They have a roadmap and then when something small happens, they deviate completely from the roadmap and they try to wing it to make sure that they're always on a positive results track. Now you don't want to do that. You wanna make sure that you're remaining faithful to the roadmap that you've created if you find yourself not meeting the milestones that are set out by your roadmap, and you will probably find yourself in that situation, you have to make sure there's dialogue around why you're not meeting those goals. And to do that, you can just pay attention to the weekly milestones you're setting and then talk to your co-founder or co-founders about why exactly milestones aren't being met and what can be changed. And then this can directly influence your to-do, done, and doing columns. You can just Think about new tasks maybe that need to be in the doing column to make sure that weekly milestones are being met. And another tip, and this is the last tip, is to make sure that you understand what weekly milestones are in the context of the larger strategy that you have. If you don't really know what strategy you're pursuing and that you don't really know what end you're trying to go after on a weekly, monthly, yearly basis, in fact, for your whole startup, if you don't even know what your mission is, there's really no point in creating weekly milestones. 
and you'll probably just end up tracking vanity metrics, like view count, like signups. And you don't want to do that because those metrics don't really matter. You want to focus as recommended by YC on other revenue or daily active users slash maybe monthly active users, depending on the product you have. You want to make sure you're clear on which of those two types of metrics you're focusing on and why, and why, is, why exactly, why, why revenue? why daily active users and how how this fits into the larger context of your strategy and your startup's mission if you're just passively generating revenue or passively generating users without really knowing what it's for if you don't even know what your product is for and you're just kind of winging it you're just seeing user growth you're just seeing revenue growth but you don't exactly know where your startup is going then your weekly milestones i would argue don't really matter because you have no long-term goal so you're probably end up fizzling out, which really in short is know what your product stands for, know what your company stands for before you go out and set weekly milestones like revenue and daily active users. So that's it for this video, guys. It's actually a pretty simple structure I have set up for this. I think most startups can just set this up really quickly. You don't really need any fancy software. In fact, I don't even have a Trello subscription. I just have this for free. So you can just use Trello for free and then set up this, this really quick template for organizing your startup's workflow and then just invite your co-founder to the Trello board using this invite button here. So that's it guys for this video. I hope this really helps you with organizing your startup's workflow. And with that, I will see you in the next one.